Hi, I'm Mark. Working at The New Yorker is such a great gig. There's always a ton of reading to be done, fast typing. There's also unlimited free coffee. Despite my busy schedule, I also sit down with guests who come by to pitch all types of products and services in the hopes of scoring coverage. These meetings are called desk sides. Hi. Hey. Hey. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, lovely. Of course, thank you. Michelle. Yes, Michelle. Okay. Madonna. Ooh. Is the last you, name. Your name is Michelle Madonna? Yes. Wow. So have you done something like this? Yes, I actually did one uh, with Seventeen Mag. They actually picked out some samples. Oh, and they did? Yeah, it was fun. So, I mean, have you ever looked at The New Yorker? Or you... I have. Yeah. It's like always at my parents' house. I'm always flip skimming through. Oh, cool. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I brought lots of good stuff. So I brought a bunch of things from our spring line, which is coming out. What is this inspired by? Is it like 60s? Is it like hippie? A little bit. This year it seems like the girls are getting girly again. Like pastels are in. And like... It's only for girls, you think? I mean, at this point. you could wear them. <laughs> I started designing uh, flower lapels for guys. A lot of the girls are buying it for their boyfriends or prom or like a date. Yeah. It's been very, very cute. That is nice. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a girlfriend. But... But when you do... Yeah, I can imagine. Um, you know, I'm a relationship and sex therapist. I do media quite a bit, especially when it comes to print and um, live TV. I'm constantly kind of like in the business of selling myself. I'm always wanting to find interesting ways to help couples and also yeah. to help people with dating. So sometimes that requires me meeting with some magazines yeah. and just saying, hey, here are some tips that I think would be really helpful for, you know, how somebody can get laid more or, you know, how couples can, you know, figure out how not to go dead in the bedroom. Can something. I not be goofy? I'm kind of goofy. Like, I smile. Yeah. Do I have to be like Banderas? Like, you have very nice fingers. I mean, like, I, I want to learn how to be tougher, hold my ground. It's called seven minute self defense, is that right? Seven minutes is all I need. <laughs> okay. Your best self defense, first of all, is confidence. And confidence means paying attention, being aware of your surroundings. Yeah. Because attackers, typically, they're going to look for that person that looks like they're lost or confused. I always look like that. So your hands are up. This is a neutral position. Spear hand to the eye. Spear that, hand. Right, just a quick... Like, oh, jeez. Okay, you right. didn't get just, me. But that was, right. Yeah. And now they go like this. Yeah. Now you're going to follow up with the foot to the groin. Boom. Now that's going to cause this. Now yeah. clinch the back of the head, and then you take your knee, uh -huh. and you introduce your knee to their nose. Introduce you to my right. knee. Right. That's one combination. I'm full of adrenaline right now. All right, ready? Palm strike. Palm. Bam. Kick. Kick. Knee. I almost want to get attacked now. This was my original one, That's the beautiful. very Daisies? first. Yeah. Meg Ryan says that daisies are the friendliest flowers. Does she really? Yeah, or at least, that. and you've got mail, she said that. You wear them like this, like a choker. You can, girls wear it like that, some girls would wear it around their arm here, some girls wear it as a belt, I've nice. seen. Man, I wish I had a girlfriend. A lot of times I'll go up to people, and they don't want to be talked to. What is your approach, though? Hi, I'm Mark. Okay, what if you said you gave her a compliment? But then yeah. how will they know my name is Mark? I think we should put it to the test more. I'm gonna hide somewhere in the hall, and then you're gonna show me how you defend yourself. Could we like actually do some kind of role playing where I'm like, we're at a bar, uh -huh. okay? And I'm, I see you, and I wanna talk to you. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's the bar, right? Okay, so this is the bar. That's the bar. Sound good? Yeah, 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 let's do it. I'm a little, yeah, I'm scared, but let's do it, yeah. Beer, please. Hi, hi. Hi, how are you? Um, very uh, good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Hello? I don't think it would ever go this well, by the way. Why? Because I feel like she wouldn't be as friendly. You were like friendly instantly. Okay, pause. Yeah. What made you think I was friendly? I didn't say much. You smiled. So when you don't get a cue or you mm -hmm. don't get a smile or any facial feedback, yes. you panic. Yes. Yes. Is anybody there? Hello? Hey, Jimmy. The bartender. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? Hey, <laughs> give me your money. I, I give me your money. I don't Come want to Give me your money. I don't want to oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job. 
can't breathe. Oh my god, but you did so good. There you go. There you go, brother. There you go. Even though it didn't feel good, mm -hmm. it came off really, really warm. Really? I swear. I imagine that if you did that, you'd have much more success. Because <laughs> it was really, it was really good. Well, this is great. This is great. I think. I'm so um, glad you liked them. I love them, Michelle, Madonna. Good luck with okay, this. Take and, care. Okay. Michelle.